Planning and scheduling in Primavera P6 can be confusing, difficult, and frustrating. You might think to yourself, well, it wouldn't be if it made any logical sense how it worked. <clears throat> well, it doesn't always. Project controls, scheduling, construction, there's a lot of pressure there. Deadlines, constraints, budgets, contracts, delays, and all the while, you just want P6 to export a simple report into Excel. But no, it's acting like you're asking it to swim the Atlantic with no arms. Take a look. Does this scene look familiar? Except, okay, so the calendar's changed. No. Why didn't it change? I just changed the calendar. It just doesn't make any sense. That's because it doesn't make sense. Huh? Things don't make sense. Until you understand why they don't make sense. So I'm gonna help me fix this or? It's times like these when you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, they built the pyramids without using scheduling software. Why do I need to learn to use it? And it's a good question. Though, most construction companies probably won't see it that way. And plus, the pyramids were built with the help of alien technology and a lot of camels. And you likely have the help of neither. There's got to be a better way. And there is. Plant Academy is here to help you navigate all of the many perils of using Primavera P6. We have both introductory and advanced on-demand courses to help you be more proficient, more productive, and a whole lot less pissed off. So we'll click OK, and click OK one more time, and it's still not working. <laughs> <laughs>